Hey guys, Tina here, The Critical Virgo. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. Just so you know, I do put timestamps to everything down below, and there are links if I find something good that I wanna share with you. If they're Amazon ones, they're probably affiliate ones. And yeah, let's get into my empties. I'm gonna start with my body, bath and body work stuff first, and then I'll move on. So I have two things from the aromatherapy line, and this one's thankful. It's frankincense and myrrh, two of my favorite fragrances. I absolutely loved. Oh, this body wash smells so good. It's like <sighs> spicy and warm, cozy. Everything I love about like the cooler weather is in this bottle. I enjoyed every shower with it. I really should have bought more, but I don't know, I kind of like buy a set of like one fragrance and then I move on. But I really enjoyed that. If they have it again, I will definitely pick it up probably in a few months, right? Because we're in May. Uh, I also had the lotion. I cut it so that I can get everything inside. Same feeling about this as the body wash. I absolutely loved everything about this. It was just amazing. Um, oh, I said Bath and Body Works, right? So I have a candle here. It's Tiki Beach. Yeah, I literally just finished this today. So, um, I mean, it burned, you know, it was pretty clean. I got some stuff left on the bottom. I don't know, I'm not really into summer fragrances and I'll buy like one or two of these little mini candles just to kind of remind myself of that. I enjoyed it. I was burning it in my office and I'm just not in a rush to go out and buy another one of these. I prefer warmer fragrances. Like the next thing I'm about to show you, this is not Bath and Body Works. That was all the Bath and Body Works I have for you. This is a Sonoma candle. You guys know I love a good Sonoma candle. This one is chocolate covered cherries. I'm totally obsessed with this. And this was my last one. Oh my God. Smells so good. I think I've talked about this fragrance like twice on my channel. I'm absolutely obsessed. I love chocolate anything and these are like maraschino cherries covered in chocolate. So those little cordial cherries, oh, so delicious. I had this one going in my living room and I miss it. Um, I'll stay on body care. I picked this up in like a discount bin when I was at Sally's and this is from Beyond Belief. It's Sugar Plum Dreams and um, it's like a blend of Berries and dew lilies makes your holiday dreams come true. Didn't really make all my holiday dreams come true, but it's very nice. I literally just finished this today as I got out of the shower. I've been meaning to, I had it in my purse and then, you know, obviously I haven't really been going places. So I just kind of pulled it out just to use it up. Cause I got tired of toting it around. Oy. Um, <laughs> this is the last time I'm gonna talk about this brand on my channel for like a while. This is from Cuccio. I've been on a little, you know, kick with it. This is the white Limetta and Aloe Vera. And it was just one of those little butter babies. I'll put a link to this one down below. This was super fresh. Oh my gosh. It smells like lime and lemongrass and mm -mm. so good. I absolutely adored this stuff. It was so moisturizing and it left your skin like not oily. So about it, but I just don't want to pay the price for this on Amazon, especially when I have like a stockpile of Bath and Body Works. I really just don't need to be doing that. So yeah, we've got, okay. So I haven't been to like a nail salon to get my eyebrows done or anything in years. I can't tell you the last time I've had somebody do my eyebrows for me or other waxing really because I've been doing it myself for over a decade. <laughs> um, 
I don't go through a lot of these, but I just finished up this, um, what is it? Gilbert de Paris, and it's a cream wax. Yeah. Inside, I mean, it's really nothing to get all excited about. This is like my favorite cream wax. It's amazing. You know, if you have really sensitive skin, because I do my lip, my eyebrows, all that stuff. And this is just, it's very affordable, does the job, love it. I've bought it. I've been using this cream wax for like at least eight, eight, nine years. So I, I keep buying it over and over again because it's just that amazing. And this tin, I mean, it was like what, 10, eight, maybe $13 and it lasts me a year. I mean, I'm just waxing myself. So yeah, like more than a year, depends on what areas I'm waxing, but I'm doing this whole laser stuff. So be a lot less waxing in this house, right? I have, oh, so with this whole virus thing, I've just been more about like antibacterial soaps. So I do use a lot of my Bath and Body Works soaps, but I have been using like a lot more of these antibacterial like dial soaps <laughs> I changed out two of them but I only kept one wrapper just because I wanted to show you this is one of the reasons why I haven't really been going through a lot of Bath and Body Works um, shower gels next month I will definitely have one but I'm kind of like alternating I don't know it just makes me feel a little bit cleaner a little bit better about myself especially if I do end up going outside I definitely shower with this and not the other stuff and now that I'm going to be returning back to work <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably be going through a lot more of that. And speaking of shedding things and being clean, this is like my favorite foot peel mask. It's from Amazon. And it's got like this nice lavender scent. I have been using this for like months, I think almost a year, I want to say. There's two that come in a pack. You get like little booties, you just kind of put them on, sit in there for like an hour. And then for the next week, you peel, your feet peel. But at the end of that like gross peeling session, you have these baby soft feet and it's just amazing. So totally addicted to these, absolutely love it. And some of you guys know I was like really into Ipsy. I think it's a great service, especially if you want to expand your collection and like build up a collection. I have two empties from there. So I finished up this liquid eyeliner and it's from Ico. It's the skinny one. That was just a really nice, you know, felt tip liner. Did the job, but I don't know if I used it up or if it just dried out. I've been thinking it was a little bit of both because I've had it for a while, but I have used it a lot. So yeah, I might have been both. And then um, I love these little teeny tiny samples just because they're really awesome when you're traveling. I was using this when I was traveling more, but I just decided to use it up because I wanted to clear up some space and I've just kind of been about that lately. So this is the Bahama Mama and it is like a bronzer. <laughs> The inside looks disgusting, but yeah, I totally enjoyed this. It's an awesome product, it's by The Balm. And yeah, like I said, Ipsy, awesome service. I don't currently subscribe to them anymore just cause like I have so many of those little bags everywhere. And like, I don't know, I just found that to be a little bit much. I was collecting too many of those and then they're like a lot of duplicates. So after I think like a year, I finally stopped my subscription with them. So I hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions to any of the products that I've shown, put a comment down below. Like I said, if I find a good link for something, I will link it down below too. Till next month, bye.